A first impression of the new BC Online Learning Management System, also known as Desire to Learn version 10, will indicate that there is a major change in how BC Online functions. This is not the case, as content and integrity of courses are not affected. Visually, the new version of BC Online will look different, but the way it is used will not significantly change. The visual difference will be encountered immediately after logging in. Contrast the My Home page of the current version with the new version of the My Home page. Notice that in the current version, the My Home page extends across the entire width of the browser window. In the new version of BC Online, a 960 pixel fixed page width is used, and if a browser window is wider than 960 pixels, then the 960 pixels in the middle of the browser window will be used to display the My Home and course pages. Navigation bars on these pages will adjust to the 960 pixel width page. Links in the navigation bar to tools such as self-assessments, surveys, checklists, and more are accessed via drop-down menus. There are two drop-down menus on the navigation bar. The first drop-down is the Assessments drop-down, which contains links to assessments, self-assessments, and surveys. The second drop-down is the More Tools drop-down, which contains links to attendance, user progress, checklist, groups, and rubrics. An added feature to the new version is the minibar, which appears at the very top of the browser window. The minibar stays at the top of the browser window even when the pages scroll down. The minibar allows quick access to My Home and other courses. There are four main areas to the minibar. The My Home link, the course selector, the alerts area, and the personal menu. The My Home link will display the My Home page. The course selector is a drop-down list of courses the student is enrolled in. Courses that are accessed frequently can be pinned so that they appear at the top of the course selector drop-down list. The course selector on the minibar allows accessing different courses without the need to return to the My Home page to select a course from the My Courses widget. The alerts area comprises three sections. The Messages section, the Updates section, and the Subscriptions section. These sections will show a red dot if there are alerts for the sections. Alerts include unread emails, unread discussion postings, and unread assignment submissions, to name a few. The Personal menu displays the logged in username and gives access to the user profile, notifications, account settings, and logout options. Profile, notifications, and account settings are also available from the My Settings widget on My Home. The personal menu allows selecting any of the icons on the menu from anywhere in BC Online without needing to go to the My Home page. For discussions, instructors have the option to require students to post to a discussion topic before postings by other students can be viewed. Topics that have this requirement will show a warning and no other postings will be visible until a posting in the topic has been made. There is one tool in BC Online that has been revamped in the new version. The content tool has added a course overview section and an upcoming events section. The course overview section can be used to display information about the course 
or could display the course syllabus. Note, an instructor may choose not to use the course overview section, in which case students will not be shown the course overview section and instead will be shown the table of contents. The upcoming events section displays events for the next nine days. Optionally, all events for the full course schedule can be displayed. The table of contents section contains the content of the course. Near the top will be a progress bar which will show you how many topics you have completed as you progress through the course. Check marks next to a topic indicate that the topic has been viewed. There is a search bar in the upper left that will allow you to search for a topic. From this table of contents you can go directly to the first unread topic. In the upper right you will see several options. You can click the print icon to print the page you are viewing. There is also a bookmark icon that will allow you to save the page in your bookmarks so that it can be accessed quickly in the future. There is a plus sign next to the bookmark icon. Clicking on the icon will change the plus sign to a minus sign indicating that your bookmark was saved. Clicking on the icon next to the bookmark icon will open the current content topic in a new window. Click on Next to advance to the next page or click Previous to access the previous page. Scroll down to see the table of contents listed so that you can easily jump to different pages within this module. To advance to the next module from this area, click the right arrow below the topic name in the topic table at the bottom of the page and select a topic in the module to view. User Progress has been given a visual overhaul. Initially, the Progress Summary page will be displayed, listing detailed progress information for all tools. Supported tools include Content, Assignment Folders, Assessments, Discussions, Grades, Checklist, and Login History. Selecting the Content tool displays more specific content progress details such as a percentage complete for each module. Topics can be expanded to show details of visits to each topic. The student tutorials help screens have been updated with the new version content. And now also follow the look and feel of the new version. Though the visual differences in the new version may be significant, Again, please know that the upgrade will not affect the content or integrity of the courses in BC Online. Enjoy! Note that BC Online will be unavailable for the entire day on Wednesday, May 8, 2013 while the upgrade is installed.